Today, we're talking about the Ford Bronco and all of the hidden features that you didn't know about. What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with TC Customs, and I'm so excited to bring you this follow-up video to the first version where we talked about all these hidden features. I'm not gonna cover any of those from the previous video in this video, so if you want to see what those were, make sure you watch that video directly after this one. So let's go ahead and jump into the very first hidden feature that you did not know, and that are gonna be the windows. Did you know that now with the 2023 later version and the 2024 model Broncos, that when you hit the unlock button in the vehicle, it cracks all of the windows just a little bit to get them freed up so when you open that door, you don't have a floppy window. That was one of the downsides of the previous version of the Ford Bronco, and Ford has fixed that with an update on the vehicle itself. Now I wanna talk about another feature, and that is going to be exclusively for the Bronco Raptor. As you know, the Ford Bronco Raptor came out a couple of years ago, and they had these massive black fender flares on them. They're not that ugly with the exception of that in some situations they didn't really match the rest of the vehicle. They were a low gloss black and it didn't matter if you got a white vehicle or if you got a red vehicle, the flares were massive because they were all black. Well, new for 2024 model year, you probably heard that they now come with the colored paint matched to the rest of the vehicle automatically from the factory. That is standard equipment. Now those same exact flares are gonna be body colored for you. But what you may not have realized that if you order this vehicle from the factory, those old black fender flares are still available if you option it that way. But the colored versions come standard. Next, let's talk about the hard top, specifically the modular hard top. Did you realize that for 2024 model year, there's going to be a late availability option where Ford Motor Company is going to give us a modular hard top that is painted to match the rest of the body. This is something that Ford has promised us years ago in the Ford Bronco and they are finally coming to fruition in the late 2024 model year. But this is the first time I've ever seen it inside of an ordering guide or really inside of Ford Motor Company's website that this is an option and I'm so excited about it. The next thing I want to talk about has to do with the roof as well, but instead we're talking soft top. This is going to be something that is, in my opinion, a big, big update. I am a massive soft top lover because it's just so easy to unlatch it and throw it back. Now, the update that I'm talking about or the hidden feature is that Ford very quietly updated the soft top and didn't tell anybody about it. They actually created a seam that runs from the front to the back. And by putting that seam in there, you don't have rainwater that comes over to the side. And when you open up the door to get in and out, you don't get completely drenched anymore. Now that water is going to channel all the way forward or all the way back instead of coming right into your lap as you're getting out of the vehicle. A big update that really nobody has been talking about. Another massive update that Ford Motor Company is doing, but not many people are talking about, happens to do with the Badlands trim level. A lot of people don't realize this, but the Badlands is supposed to be like the most off-road capable version of the Ford Bronco without going to like a Raptor or something like that. But now for 2024 model year, and by the way, this is confirmed by the BroncoNation.com. Uh, by the way, if you're not a member of the Bronco Nation, you need to be. I'm not getting paid a penny to say this, uh, but they're just some really dadgum good people. Uh, uh, so check them out. The link will be down below if that's something you want to check out, but just good people overall. But their forum actually confirmed with a great article that the Badlands now gets the Haas 3.0 steering gear from the factory, which that's huge because if you're going to be hardcore off-roading, this is going to be the trim level to get if you want something for rock crawling and you want it to articulate. Now you've also got that upgraded steering gear to make sure everything is in line because as you probably know, that is the biggest weak point on the Ford Bronco outside of like a wild track or outside of something like a Raptor. Uh, so it's nice to know the Badlands is getting that upgraded gear. Next up is going to be the configurations of all of the different versions of the Ford Bronco for 24 model year. A lot of people don't realize they killed off some of the trim levels that people don't care about, or really statistically weren't ordering very many of them, like the, the base model. It's gone forever. Uh, well, maybe not forever, but it's gone for this model year. But what they're doing now is they're giving you a lot more standard equipment 
at even the base version, even like the Big Bend, which is now the, the base model, you get the 12 inch infotainment system built right into the dashboard of every Bronco, period, and a paragraph. In the past, it was an eight inch screen. It's really cool to see that the 12 inch screen is gonna be standard across all of them because that is a really good system. And speaking of really good system, let's talk about the next hidden feature. And that is how do you reset the sync system? From time to time, my cell phone will actually actually start acting up kind of wonky because it's a Bluetooth connection, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android, all that kind of stuff. And everybody knows how to restart their phone because sometimes every now and then it just kind of glitches, right? So I'm not gonna teach you how to do that with your phone, but how do you do that with the sync system? A lot of people don't realize this. If your sync system starts to act kind of wonky or whatever, hold the power button and the seek right button at the exact same time. If you do hold that for about five seconds, give or take, the whole system will go black and then you'll see the big logo of the Bronco or the Raptor emblem, depending on which trim level you have. But it's a really simple, easy way to just reboot your system in case it's acting a little buggy. But I do want to remind you that this is not a buggy system. I've got it in my Bronco Raptor and had zero issues with it. I've got it in my previous 2021 Bronco Badlands, didn't really have any issues with it, but just sometimes every now and then you need to reboot the system. This next hidden feature or really hidden information kind of shocked me and I didn't realize until I was doing all the preparation for this particular video is that for 2024 model year, the Bronco, there is no trailer tow package anymore. And let me explain exactly what I mean. Now, every single Bronco comes with a trailer tow prep package as standard equipment across the board. And you cannot get the trailer tow package as an option from the assembly line. It has to come as a DIO. And if you don't know what that stands for, it stands for dealer installed option. So what we're trying to tell you is that for 24 model year, if you want a Bronco and you want a trailer tow package, it's gonna be added by your dealership or by an aftermarket shop like TC Customs. This is a big one. In fact, we even made a dedicated YouTube video all about this, and that is X-Plan pricing is now available on all of the Broncos that qualify for it. Like excluding the Raptor and stuff like that. And the beautiful thing is Town & Country Ford and Bessemer in Pell City, Alabama is honoring X-Plan pricing, assuming that you qualify for it. It's basically like in invoice pricing, if you will. So it's a huge way to save some money pretty instantly. So give us a call if you want to place an order at MSRP or X-Plan pricing if you qualify. This last one is the doozy that I was telling you about, and that's the Bronco Off Rodeo. If you don't know what this is, everybody that buys a Bronco gets a world-class experience where you get to go and drive Ford Motor Company's Bronco and experience the capabilities without the stress of, am I about to damage or hurt my personal Bronco? But in addition to that, you're going to be guided by people that are actual experts in off-roading. They teach you things like recovery. They teach you this, they teach you that. But even someone like myself, who's an experienced off-roader can still get information and good times out of this particular setup. But you don't realize, and I didn't realize this until it was too late, is 2021 model year Bronco owners, the credits for the Bronco off-rodeo has already expired. So if you are watching this video and you have a 2021 Bronco and you did not get an opportunity to go to that Bronco off-rodeo, I feel bad for you because it's an awesome experience. But what you may not realize is that 2023 model years are, are actually set to expire at the end of 2024 calendar year. So if you're buying a 23 Bronco, you need to get your butt in line and go ahead and go see the Bronco off-rodeo. It is, I've never had someone come back from it and say, man, that was a waste of my time. <laughs> it just doesn't happen. I've been to the normal Bronco off-rodeo in Texas. I've even went to the Bronco Raptor off-rodeo, which it was such a good event that that's one of the reasons that I bought my Bronco Raptor. So guys, that is the video. Those are the different things that you did not know about the new Bronco. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel with the bell notification turned on so you don't miss videos just like this one. Peace.